morning. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Doing great. Good, good. Another beautiful day. Huh? Another beautiful day. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Yeah, this is the playground right here. Yeah. Did you hear as I was coming down the avenue? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Just fertilizing the rose. Yeah, absolutely. So, life still goes on, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Keep well, the, the, the vines don't know there's a pandemic, right? Jeez, <laughs> no, they don't. They really look like they're popping yeah you know now that we're warming up they're really starting to take off and things are going to happen quickly i was looking at our primitivo this morning and you know they start at this stage where they're really short like this and they're just they're kind of working off the stored carbohydrates from last winter and once they get some leaf out there and they start producing their own energy they, they get to this point and they get into this stretching mode, like this cane is starting here, uh -huh. where you've got, you know, like, let me find something back here. These nodes are pretty tight together, pretty close together, but they'll start elongating, and now these nodes will just kind of stretch exponentially. But it's fun to watch. We measured our Primitivo a few years ago when they got into the stretching mode. Uh -huh. These canes were literally growing two to four inches a day. Are you we kidding? We were measuring them each day. We flagged them. We are uh -huh. writing it down on the flagging tape. Yeah. It's it's just unbelievable. You don't really think about it, but you, you come in one day, and then you're in a few days later. It's like, whoa, what just happened? You know? <laughs> so it's, it's a pretty cool piece of nature, you know, what it does and what it's capable of doing. What stage are we in right now? Are we, we're past bud break. We're past bud break. So bud break happened about, what is the date? I don't even know what the date is. I know, I don't either. <laughs> is it about, the 20? About three weeks ago. Well, four to five weeks ago, we really started seeing bud break. And then mm -hmm. it cooled off and some of the later varieties stalled. So we have this gap between the white varietals and the red varietals. Um, but we've, we've gone through bud break. And now we're in this stage of just growth, and um, the processes we're doing right now are actually shoot thinning. That's, as you're watching me, that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. Mm -hmm. we, you can you can see up in here where we have pruned to last year's wood. If I pull all that away, you can see this is last year's last year's cane that we pruned to, and we really wanted just two shoots or two buds out there, and and you can see every. Every cane has two clusters on it this year, so things are very fruitful. But what we have to do now is is we have to understand how much energy this vine has. You know, it's like our bodies, not everyone can run a marathon unless it's trained to do it, right? Right. It just doesn't have the, the energy or the capability. And if we were to leave all of this growth, because you have growth not only where that spur is, but you could see I was, you have these rogue um, kind of shoots that just naturally um take off and, and grow in here like this one is, is something that you know just popped out it was you know there's enough energy and enough carbohydrate storage that that bud got stimulated and said uh -huh. i need to grow uh -huh. um, but if we were to leave all of this in here at this point the vine is not going to have enough energy to ripen all of this fruit and develop all this canopy to its fullest extent right and so one of the few things we get to do in manipulating nature is we help the vine by balancing it out and so what I'm actually doing is going in here and I know that I in this particular vine it can, this can probably handle four clusters on this spur and so I'm gonna actually take it all the way back to just those two shoots um, and we'll work our way all, all around this vine and do that very same thing now if you get to this old guy that's behind you here um, this vine was planted probably somewhere in the 50s. But uh -huh. This is one of our original 1904 vines, and we pay much more attention to these guys because we, I mean, you can see the gnarliness of the wood, and if we were to dissect this, there might be, you know, you have a trunk that may be this big or this big, but there may be only just a little sliver, sliver of viable wood left in there that's supporting the, the upper part of this vine. And so with this one, I'm gonna really be aggressive with it. And I know that this vine doesn't have very much 
uh, energy left in it. It's, it's one of the older saints, and so we still want fruit to come off of it, but I'm going to be very selective on how I, I manage that. And in this case, I'm going to leave these two shoots, but I'm actually going to take this cluster and I'm just going to pop that guy off because I know now that this can support that cluster and ripen it to its fullest extent. But it couldn't do two probably. Well, maybe. maybe. It depends on the season, but you know, I want to, I want to guarantee that, uh, it, it's you know I want to make sure that it's it's geared for success so I'm going to right. do that also and I'm also looking at where I'm leaving those clusters to leave some spacing so they don't stack on top of each other <laughs> and, and do those types of things so this is a really fun vineyard because every single vine if you look at them is entirely different and so when my staff comes in here to to work on shoot thinning they have to approach every vine differently which um, takes a lot of skill to really understand what we're trying to accomplish. So here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take those two clusters and bring that down to a single. And, and in some cases, now you have these clusters, which are beautiful. They're going to be going into bloom in a few weeks here. And on this one in particular, you have your primary cluster and you have this other piece coming out here. This is what we would consider to be a shoulder. Sometimes we'll even go to that extent oh, wow. and just remove that shoulder now. Right knowing that that's going to be a really large cluster uh -huh. and will this wood be able to support that and ripen it to its fullest extent or not. So um, these are kind of the cool little things that we're, we're doing. So my guys are running all over. In fact, they're going to be in Lizzie James here um, early this coming week to be able to take all of this. So when you get done with it, you look at the vine now and it looks like it's full and happy. We get through shoot thinning all of a sudden it's like <gasps> it looks like there's nothing there's left. there's nothing left <laughs> <laughs> but we know exactly how many clusters are on each vine and we know what that balance uh, is on there and um, over time um, these canes are going to grow um, each one of these no nodes is uh, actually has a lateral shoot that's going to come out and so these vines these shoots are actually going to fill back out so you can already see this lateral leaf that's gonna become a shoot that's gonna come off of this primary cane developing. And so it's, it's already in gear to throw out enough leaf to be able to produce enough energy to um, get this fruit through verasion, which is where we go from after we get through bloom, uh, we go into a cell development stage and that's where your, your growth is coming from. Once we finish that, that cell division, we go into what's called verasion, um, where these berries, this is red Zinfandel, um, would be green. Um, those green berries now start taking on the color of, of that dark, lush, mm -hmm. uh, you know, beautiful Zinfandel color that they get. And the berries start to soften. And those cells now that have divided and divided and divided now are going through cell growth. And through that cell growth, you're getting color, the tannins uh, are, 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 are mellowing out and, and structuring, and you're also then starting to accumulate all the sugars. And that's what we use uh, in the fermentation process to convert the sugar into alcohol with those beautiful yeasts that actually are living all over this vine right now mm -hmm. because we don't inoculate a lot of what we bring into the winery. Mm -hmm. So no. I just gave you a lot of information yeah, that's awesome. about that big of a window. <laughs> Yeah, and so Verasion might be the next stage that we come back and visit you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll be cool. Verasion's exciting because it's wrapped. We always, for Zinfandel, we always use the 4th of July as the Verasion indicator date. And so um, 4th of July is always an exciting time because it's filled with family and the celebration of our country. And it also means that uh, we're going to start seeing color in Zinfandel and that's exciting because that means that harvest is right around the corner and that mm -hmm. that will happen sometime in September for this particular vineyard um, but um, it, it's like having a baby every year we, you know, we go through the same processes um, we're dealt with a different hand every year uh, that we have to work our way through so in this case, uh, this year we're running with um, about, I think we're about 60% of average rainfall. Last year, uh, it was a gully washer, right? Uh, right? And so we're gonna be farming totally different this year than we had to last year. 
Um, but we still have a target out there, and that's, that's how I describe it. It's, I've got this target that I'm trying to hit as we go through pruning, shoot thinning, balancing the crop, getting that fruit to ripen. But as, as we're getting closer to the target, the target keeps moving. <laughs> And we have to keep steering yeah. towards the target. You right. know, it's, it's like a missile until we hit it and right. capture the, the best of the best out here. Yeah. So, um, definitely not like producing a plastic widget. Yeah, right. <laughs>